YouTube, sorry for the wait, Twitch, but OBS for some reason wasn't picking up my mic, and over the course of the last 20 minutes, I have been checking all my connections, checking all my settings, none of my settings changed, but when I went in to change just the balance on my HDMI and mic, all of a sudden it picked up sound, but I didn't actually changed the setting it's it's a slider and I just like grabbed it and yanked it around two or three times and then put it back exactly where it was and hit apply so somewhere along the way the game just or OBS just said F my settings and was like I think somehow LGX had t my LGX or OBS had told itself that I had switched to just take in the game sound, but I didn't just take in the game sound. Like I I don't understand what's going on. Um, so ha Ev has ads. Oh poor baby. Um. All right, guys. So. Last weekend, at my bi-weekly slash monthly D&D game, pretty much depending on who can go when, where, uh, my friend Jarrell is also playing Hollow Knight. He's a lot further than I am, and he was very confused as to why I am so far in this map, even though... Like, there, there's apparently some things I skipped or didn't do that I probably should have done by now. Um, this is nothing like a Castlevania game. It is not Metroidvania. It is just, like, Metroid Souls. So, a Metrols. Emphasis on the lols, I guess. Or trolling. Um... Because with a Castlevania game, I usually do my best to fill out the map. Because 9 times out of 10, you have to do map stuff. Like, as soon as you can, you want to un uncover as much of the map as you can. And just be able to explore. I felt really bad for you saying... Yeah, she... I'm sorry, baby. She's here hearing me say hello into my mic for, for the last... 15 toy minutes. Oh, it's the tram. Um, so the plan so far as I believe is I will try to just grind a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna try and like do any hair pulling today I'm gonna just do a bunch of like little short snippet episodes for you guys that's pretty much just me pretty much taking his advice and pretty much going for a take it slow kind of approach um that's that's how this game works so I didn't know that um but the combat kind of screams it but I didn't think that how you play the game was also how you're supposed to, like I, I I didn't assume that playing the game all like the fights are very slow and methodical and kind of turn based in a way where you have to wait attack wait attack and that's fine I mean it's not my preferred combat style in any game I, I prefer a uh, down and dirty, get in there, beat the ever-living crap out of the bad guy, and then, like, get the job done. But I cannot do that. So, what I am going to do is grind out souls. There's a couple of places. Apparently, that guy I met, oh man, a handful of episodes ago. That lets you buy broken things will, like, we were worried because me and I have discovered that the broken ones go away if you die.
but they only go away if you die if you actually have them equipped, not bought. Like, as long as I don't equip them, I'm good. Uh, apparently there's a merchant that will show up once you have a certain amount of charms. And the more charms you have, the more charms he will sell or whatever. Um, so we are going to try to buy stuff from him. Uh, we are also going to try and get the egg. All of this information in exchange for me telling him about overnotching, which apparently is a very not ability since people that have been playing much longer than me or have done numerous playthroughs or whatever just don't know about this ability. So that really makes me happy. Um, because I just stupided and like the first chance it let me put in notches I'm like no I'm gonna put in all the notches and see watch you stop me no and yeah so like he actually tried to fight a boss he was having some trouble with using using these extra notches which was a horrible idea and yeah but it was really fun to watch, so yeah. So yeah, I'm gonna just kinda be grinding, I guess, for a bit. Um, my plan is probably to do th Usually I do two hours Saturday, two hours Sun or er, two hours Friday, two hours Saturday. And then if I feel like doing anything else I'll do it and make that like my Friday episode but what I might do is just grind a couple episodes oops I probably didn't need to do that yeah I'll, I'll grind a couple of episodes and then grind some in my off time but you guys will be able to see kind of the stupid I'll be getting up to in my grind quest and then any other episodes this week on YouTube and for probably Saturday's Twitch will probably be me doing more Stardew Valley because it's 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 my happy place and I'm very tired and very sore right now um, I've been up and down ladders pretty much all week Oh, crap. I hit jump. And, yeah, so my legs are just, like, don't move. Don't even look at legs right now. Don't, don't even look at steps or a ladder or anything. So, I'm planning to just pretty much sit in my new couch's reclining seats and lay here all weekend popping ibuprofen and aspirin oh crap but I cannot do that every time I see a giant green thing because I will run out of soul that that was dumb but I had the health to tank that crap, so... HA! Alright, I am going to play with the sound a little bit. I... No, I actually like that. I need to play with the sound on my headset. Yeah, that's better. Oh, no. What the heck just happened? What did he do to me? I don't understand what just happened. I don't... I don't get it. Like, just standing in front of his shield was doing damage to me? Like, I didn't touch him. I wasn't... 
Like, did I do something wrong? I mean, those moth guys with the shields are a pain in the a butt to start with, but... Like, I didn't do anything. Like, I hit him in the back. Does he have some sort of, like, thorns ability where... I was taking damage because I hit him in his blind spot, and the game's like, Ooh, you should not done that. Like, I'm... I'm utterly confused, because the game has given me... No hint that... Journal updated. Oh, did I kill enough of him to... Where's my ghost? Oh, crap. He would be down there. You little punk. But I'm... The heck? Get back here. That was unexpected. Man. Gosh darn it. I get it. My body's there. Just give me five seconds, dude. But see, I can't... If I dash, I get hit. If I don't dash, I get hit. Like, there's no... And... I don't... Know how to fight the moth people. Those moth knights are freaking... Pain in the butt. Like, I don't... I don't understand. I mean, now I've lost that 600 thing I had, which sucks, because that was kind of what I was going for, but not. Alright, there is a vendor around here somewhere, I thought, that sells the, uh... The cheap things. So now I gotta find a way to get... To kill the moth people with only four masks instead of the six I had. Even though I was doing fine the first time, but the game just said no. Darn it, I'm trying to... Oh, so sometimes he does that double swing. Other times he's like, F you. <sighs> Alright, I need to get my... I just, I am... <sighs> am I just dumb? I mean, because I'm giving up two or three masks every time I fight that particular thing. And I'm not... I don't feel like I'm doing it wrong. I mean, I kind of get what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm just... I'm doing it wrong, I guess? I mean, baiting him out does nothing. It just makes him angry, I guess. And the helpful people that are 50-50 here. I don't know. I'm just... That's really annoying me. Like, some of these Emmys are specifically designed to just kind of, like, sit there. 
and not... Oh. Yay, I have a whole four masks. Okay, I need to remember how to look at the journal. Life seed. Small scuttling seed filled with lifeblood, which can be extracted and consumed for healthful properties. Eight more to decipher more hunter notes. Cool. Okay, I gotta find... See, I don't get a shield. And this doesn't give me any tips on how to fight him. Just, he uses a shield a lot. Be, be afraid of that. It's like that. That's really unhelpful, Hunter's notebook. Just, I don't get it. That's just lore, which I've already read. That was the life seeds. I love how even the seeds in this world seem alive. Um, oh, god. Just die! Okay, so that's pretty much the whole trick is... Alright, uh, while we are watching me get my butt utterly destroyed by anything and everything apparently that's, that lives in this area, which is complete and utter bullcrap, Ah! Um, you will see at the top, I finally did put in the little graphic for Extra Life. Um, I had mentioned it at last episode, I think. Or the episode before last. It's, to me, it's been a week. To you guys, it's been like a few hours. Um, if you're watching all these at once. And Extra Life, I, I had to double check. I wanted to make sure all the information I was giving you guys was right. But it is for Children's Miracle Network, um, helping sick kiddos. Pretty much, I play video games for this charity. I really believe in it. There aren't many things like that. Um, Pretty much, I play video games. We bring awareness to the project. Uh, you guys hopefully open your hearts and potentially your wallets. And the kids hopefully can afford the medical bills that they don't deserve because they're kids and they can't possibly pay those medical bills because, you know. Uh, so we are trying to give them a better, brighter future and letting their parents not have to worry as much about money and hopefully more so about their kiddo and giving the kiddos as much love as kiddos everywhere deserve. So if you would like to help some some kiddos, that's, that's one way you can do it. Um, but I know uh, money is tight for me and the wife and we're about to have our own kiddo so we'll be focusing on taking care of our kiddo and i understand if you feel the same um if you can donate please every ah no that's what happens when i look at my chat and not at the screen in the pixel perfect platformer try saying that three times fast actually yeah, that, that's not a hard one to say that fast. 
Wait, what's down there? Have I been to? I feel like I've been down there though. Um, but yes, if you can donate, please do. If you can't, uh, share what share this video on social media. Um, oh crap, share the message on social media, and that way, if you need to. You can just let folks know, hey, if if you do want to donate, I, I know a place you can. If they don't want to donate, they, they can spread it around. I would love to see Facebook, MySpace, Reddit, other Twitchers joining. Uh, it costs nothing to become part of ExtraLife.org. So if... You don't like the idea and you'd like to be, like, do your own thing. Like, maybe I'm an idiot and don't bring enough fun to the table that you think I'll get any kind of donations. Which, wow, that's a little mean. Especially to say it about myself. But, um, maybe, maybe you feel like you could do it better. And if that's the case, please do. Again, I make nothing doing this, um... If you would like to support me and the wife, uh, first, I would strongly object unless you donate to the kiddos first, which is, is how it should be. Help the kiddos, then you can help me and my wife if you would like. Uh, we do have a Patreon. It is on the YouTube page in the description. I think I have put the Patreon below everything else. I try to organize it by my own personal priority list. Um, my wife does artwork. I think I have the Patreon under that too. So, I play the games for fun. This is the only game people have told me, Hey, I watched this on YouTube. It's, it's really fun to watch. Oh, crap. So, I can save up all of my jujus. I, that's nice to know. So, three smacks to the face. Where am I going? Like, I don't know. <sighs> he said it was the guy in green path that... But I, th I don't remember. It's not dirt mouth. Like, there's a guy. Maybe that's the guy I'm looking for. Because there's a guy that does sell the broken things, the broken charms. And I'd like to buy them while I'm around here. But I know I also need to save up like 950 for that freaking blasted key. What the heck? Man, this place is evil. But I did make a crap ton of Geo here, so. Alright, guys. Uh, I will let you guys go. The next video will be me wherever that was. The fungal wastes. And we will try and explore a little more of the fungal wastes, hopefully, and go to whatever that shop is, because I don't remember if that's the guy I'm looking for. I thought Jarrell said Green Path, but I I might have misheard, and he might have said the the fungal wastes. So let's see Queen Station and I will see you guys in the next one Lights out